All right, so today we're going to look at combining powers, section 2.5 of your Math 9 textbook. A couple of examples to start off with. If we have something like 2 times x to the power of 3, note that the exponent 3 affects everything inside the brackets. So we get 2 to the power of 3 and x to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is simply 8, and so that simplifies to 8x cubed. Same thing with a quotient. 4x over 3 to the power of 2 is like saying 4 to the 2, x to the 2, all over 3 to the 2. 4 squared is 16, so we get, and 3 squared is 9, so we get 16x squared over 9. Maybe something a bit more involved, 4x squared all to the power of 3. The 3 affects the 4, and it affects the x squared. So we get 4 cubed, and then we get x squared cubed. The 4 cubed becomes, uh, what's that, 64. And the x squared cubed, we multiply the exponents together and we get 64x to the 6. So note the 3 affects everything inside the brackets. Same thing with the quotient. 5 cubed over 5 squared, all to the power of 2. Our bases are the same. And if we apply this law, we could go 3 times 2 to get that 6, 2 times 2 to get 4, and then subtract the exponents, because of the division, to get 5 to the 2. A little different now, different bases. 3 to the power of 5 times 4 to the power of 2. I can't multiply those together. The bases are different. But I can use the exponent law to multiply the powers, multiply the exponents. So 3 to the power of 10, 4 to the power of 4, 3 to the 12, 4 to the 9. Notice our bases are the same with the 3s and the 4s now. So with the 3s, I can go 10 minus 12, subtract the exponents to get 3 to the negative 2, 4 minus 9 to get 4 to the negative 5, and if I want to express that with positive exponents, like we learned previously, we get 1 over 3 squared and 4 fifths. So the power of a product rule says that if I've got some product a times b to the power of m, it'll equal a to the m times b to the m, and if I have some quotient a over b to the power of n, it'll equal a to the n over b to the n. A couple of examples, like we did before, 2x to the power of 3 becomes 2 cubed x cubed, or 8x cubed. 5x over 3 to the power of 2 becomes 25x squared over 9. Brief assignment to work on this. A reminder that the following day you have a homework quiz and a quiz on the beginning of chapter 2. But your assignment for section 2.5, page 73, 348, I think that's 13 and 16. Good luck.